Man's Kitchen. I know I've been gone a minute, I know. But you know things, I've been working, I've been working. But I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. I'm doing homemade beef enchiladas. Beef enchiladas today with refried beans and Spanish rice. So we got it all laid out here. I'm gonna dice up, I got my two cups of hot water going with for my rice. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of oil to that, to heat that up a little bit, get that going. So we're gonna dice up our bell pepper. I don't like stuff to be real thick, cause you know our kids don't like to really eat vegetables. So we're gonna dice this up a little bit more. That's about a half a cup of mixed bell pepper. And I like different colors, it makes it look really pretty. So, you know, I'm all about that presentation and everything. I hope y'all been missing me. Y'all been missing me. I've been missing y'all. But, we, but it's going good, though. We've been busy. I'm work I got a new movie coming out this year, y'all. Color Purple. I'm going to be in the remake of Color Purple. It's going to come after December, so don't get excited just yet. Because we ain't there yet, but it's coming. But I'm excited about that. Working on music. Got a couple tours just about to kick off. So I'm working on that as well. And, of course, more Mama Man's Kitchen is coming. So y'all stay tuned. Man TV, y'all. We trying to give, we trying to give it to y'all. Trying to make it happen. We got a lot of things going on. Portia just released her book, y'all. Man, I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. But it's, it's going good. So I got this diced down a little bit. Got this heated up. Your pan, cause you want your skillet, Mr. Man. It has to sizzle when it hit the grill. It has to sizzle. So we wait. So that's hot. Let's try it. Let's see if it's hot. Get it. Oh, that's just a little sizzle. There ain't no hard still. Let's see if I put more. There we go. There we go. So we put in, this is two pounds of lean ground beef. Two pounds of lean ground beef. We break that up a little bit. I already washed my hands. Y'all know how I feel about that. Diced up the onions. Really small. I'm going to use probably about a half a cup of onions. I'm not going to use all of these. Just half a cup of that. That piece is a little big. Try to hide it. But you know what? Onion gives you stuff flavor, y'all. You gotta put some onion in your stuff. So we're gonna have our bell pepper. And that dump cook. You know, I'm just dumping it in there. Put the bell pepper in there, make that look all nice and pretty. We're gonna add a teaspoon of paprika. A teaspoon of paprika in there a little bit. I'm not gonna even put all of that. So I'm gonna use a half of it. Probably half. Just a little cumin. A half a teaspoon of that, cumin I mean. And then we're gonna put a little garlic in there. I use my basic seasons are granulated garlic, seasoned salt, black pepper. Those are the main things that I use. So, and, and today, since I'm doing um, this enchiladas, I'm gonna add just a little bit of, I mix with a little taco seasoning with it. Just to get a little bit more flavor. You know, I like that flavor in there. You, you gotta get, I gotta get my people flavor. Gotta, gotta hit them with it. Okay, we put the rice in there because the water's already hot. Got my spoon on deck. Just mix that around with the oil. Remember, a tablespoon of oil, two cups of water. You can use any brand you want to use at the store. I just picked up one. Got my meat going. If you don't have one of these, I don't even know what it's called. But this right here, when you do a ground meat or ground chicken, this oh, one. a meat masher. A meat masher? I don't know. I just said Oh, well, maybe that's what it's called. But it helped mash up that meat. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this taco seasoning and season salt. I kind of mixed them together in there. You know what? If you, if you can't have a lot of salt, don't do it. Don't do it. Got the green. I got me some more garlic in there. I'm, I'm heavy on the garlic, especially if you can't use a lot of salt. Garlic is the way to go. That's too big of a piece of onion. So you want to add that in there. I'm going to turn down my rice back here. So cause it's, it's going, it's moving. It's smelling good. It already has the seed. It's a seasoned Spanish rice. It already has some seasoning in it. But of course, I'm going to add a little bit more something to it. So we got that going. We got our pan out. While I'm doing that, let me wipe my hands. I'm gonna preheat the oven. Y'all follow me on over here. I'm gonna preheat my oven for 350. Cause after you put your enchiladas in the oven, you just really 
everything is done, you really just want to melt the cheese. So I'm preheating that oven. I'm using flour tortillas for that. I'm trying to make it quick, y'all. The thing for Mama Man's Kitchen for y'all is I want to give y'all stuff that's quick. Quick meals, so it won't take you so long, especially if you have a long day at work. You come in and it's not gonna take you all day being in the kitchen on your feet, especially if you work on your feet all day. So that's that's important. I'm making some noise, I'm mixing it all up, breaking it down. And by you preheating your skillet or whatever you use, it actually helps for your meat to actually cook faster too. But this is exercise. I'm breaking it all down because I want it to get nice. And small crumbles. I want small crumbles. I don't want real big crumbles on that. So I got a lot of, I got my cheese over there. I got my sour cream and stuff for my, when I get ready to plate it. Oh, we're going to make it look good like we're at the restaurant. Mmm. I'm going to set it off up in here. At Mama Man's Kitchen. I hope everybody been taking care of themselves. There's been a lot going on in our world. And taking care of yourself mentally, you know, and physically. That we, I'm trying to do better. I'm back in the gym. Woo, pray for me. It's hard out here. You know, I was on tour and my voice was tripping. And they had me on some medications that had actually, I put some, put some weight back on. And I'm like, man, I was doing something good. So I'm trying to figure this thing out. So y'all be praying for me, all right? I need y'all to pray for us while we out here on this road. But we enjoy doing what we doing, but we trying to take care of ourselves too. All right, I'm gonna stir this rice up right quick. Then I'm gonna start my beans. So I got refried beans. You can use any brand you wanna use. And I'm also adding like a pinto bean to it. You know how to have a little whole bean in it and the actual refried beans just to give it a little consistency. Have a a better consistency and just not all smashed up. Got my little trash can, you know. I, I like to kind of clean up as I go. Now, if I had my other assistant in here, he don't, uh, he, he don't, he's not so clean like that. My, uh, my other cook, my pop in cook. I'm off today. You off today? Yes, sir. Oh. I'm behind here. Oh, okay. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you on the camera behind the scenes. All right, all right. Did y'all enjoy that uh, chili episode? Y'all, he think he can out cook me, but not. <laughs> That's a show and tell. We're gonna have a cook-off one day. We're gonna have a cook-off so we I can show y'all, prove y'all. So when I do my beans, you guys, I add a little taco seasoning to it to just give it a little bit of more flavor. Got another spoon in here. I'm gonna mix that up together. Turn this fire on. I kind of heat. I heated up my pot so it's warm, so it won't take, ain't gonna take no long time. But really, these beans is basically already done. We just wanna heat them up. And it's gonna give you a nice look right here. Woo! All right, man. We got that going. All right, I'm gonna taste this and see if I need to add a little something. Good right there. Alright, I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic. Just a little bit. Yeah. Woo woo! Now y'all making enchiladas, you would think it's hard, but it's really not hard. It's really not hard at all. And I had a friend of mine, a, a Spanish friend of mine who told me actually how to make these. So, I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative of that. And I got to make y'all a chicken one, too. I make a good chicken one. All right, so we got the our taco. And our taco meat. Our beef is done. We'll check on this rice. Oh, it's coming. I'm right now. Our beans. Got our beans, our refried beans going right here. Oh, that look good. I put a little seasoning in that. Taco seasoning. That's how you add some flavor when you want to make it at home. I'm gonna turn it down where it's a little lower. I don't want it to go too fast. All right, so what happens with the actual toppings, this is two cans of chicken red enchilada sauce. So I'm gonna add probably about a can to this, one can to this out of, poured out of the bowl. What happens is how you get that thicker consistency is you add cheese to it. 
You add cheese in there, and this is gonna make this kind of thicken up. See, that's how that go right there. I'm gonna turn that fire down a little bit. Mix that in there. See that cheese, woo! Okay, there we go. Mixing that together. You see how that look right there? That cheese in there. Oh, it looks so delicious right here. Look at that. That's, that's what you got right there. So you add your enchilada sauce to it. Add your cheese. And you already put your veggies in there. So that's really how you get your consistency, your meats out inside of your inside of your um, enchiladas. So I'm using flour tortillas. So what happens is you're gonna take a little oil, put it in your skillet. Just, you just wanna warm these up a little bit. So I'll just take a little oil, kinda of dab it through my tortilla shells. What happens is this makes your shell tender. So when you get ready to wrap it, and you can use corn tortillas, but my family like flour more so than Heat them up, heat that up right there. Then you take it, and then you take about a spoonful, put it on side in there, look at that. And you take it and you just roll it. Roll it up, and place it on your spoon. So we got these heating up. It just makes this tender already. You can feel look how soft they are. Roll this up. Okay, I'm gonna taste it in a second. See what the flavor's like. Woo! God almighty, it was hot, y'all. Woo! Oh. Yeah, it got hot to the pan that time. Woo! Glory. Now see, some people, you know, they like to eat this just straight without being baked. So you just want just the actual, um, just taste the feeling with the tortilla. You can eat it. You can eat it just like this as well. So, here we go. We got that. Sometimes people like to come in and just, you know, she hates it. Wait, wait, let me get you one out of here. You just messed up my, oh God. See, people like him. They don't want people just running in your kitchen and take it like they can watch. All right, but this is what we got. I'm gonna make one more for this spot that he took. I'm put this in here. That pretty good? <laughs> it was hot. I'm gonna I'm save some of my meat sauce just in case somebody don't want oh, all like, the. He feel like Mark on life. So what we got now is I'm taking the rest of the sauce, enchilada sauce. I'm putting it in, putting it in with the meat sauce. That back on so what I'm doing, I mix all this up again, and we're gonna put pour this over the top of it, place it in the oven. Uh, my beans is, uh, is all basically your beans is already done. You just basically warm them up. You check on this, taste this rice, see what other seasonings I need to put in it. And y'all, we about to have a meal, Doc. This is like so thin. But this is what I like to do. I like to take a little more cheese and put it before I put my actual sauce on top of it. Make it nice and pretty looking. Look at that. Woo! All right, so we'll hold that right there. We already mixed all this up. Now we're gonna pour this over the top. Look at that. Woo! I like to make sure my, all my tortilla is covered. So, cause sometimes when you put it in the oven, if you don't, it'll, it'll be kind of hard. So we got a lot of this chili sauce on this side. Let's spread this, spread the love. Spread the love out on the other side. Woo! Look at that. What? Mm. We finna eat. Man, and I ain't ate yet. This looks delicious. Okay, y'all know how I like to clean up. So let me put this in the sink. Let me tell y'all, y'all know how we do it. Look good, <laughs> smell good. Woo! Can't wait to taste it, cause I know it's gonna taste good. Yeah! Look at that, look at that. Woo! Take me a little of this. Pico. Look at that, 
Boy, y'all, I work at a restaurant. What? <laughs> Looks good. Mmm. It's gonna taste good. So we're gonna put this in the oven. Clean it up, look. See y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, presentation means everything to me. Look at that. See, see if that restaurant, cleaning all that off. Open this up. She's already heated. Woo, I am broke out in the sweat. Look at that. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, yeah. Mmm, my, 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 I'ma put, put it down low. And bam, we'll be back in a few minutes. Tell us who you are and the title of the book. My name is Portia Mann and I am the author of A Healer's Journey to Healing. What do you want your readers to walk away with as they read through this book? Because when I started writing, I had only women in mind. Mm -hmm. But the more I started writing, the more I go back and read, the book it's for everybody it's for anybody that is on a healing journey mm -hmm. if you are in a dark place and you feel like there's no hope there's something in this book for you all right i'm back i had to clean up a little bit move some things out of the way so we'll get ready to plate this plate of beef enchilada yeah okay i got my beans is ready about to cut that off my rice is ready we're gonna cut that off. And we're going to the oven to get the enchiladas out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, this looks so delicious. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Man, it looks, man, it look good. All right, look at that. We finna plate this. Get these enchiladas. I'm gonna put them, put some little pretty on there. Remember, love more, judge less. Until next time. Mmm, mmm, my man's kitchen. Good God Almighty. Ooh. Lord, have mercy to you. Mmm, mmm. I ain't got no dish to help me eat this. Hmm. Remember, like, subscribe, and watch some of the other stuff on Man TV.